And we see a energy filled rebound from Darius Baisley. Another stop against this Clippers offense. Pokashevsky run on the floor, knifing his way, keeping that ball high for the finish. Well, the Thunder are just moving the basketball. You talk about how, how well they're moving it. They got eight assists on 12 made field goals. Head turned around, so he just put up his right hand, trying to get the deflection. That's exactly what he got, and it leads to a deuce. They just use his size on it. Just a little bit of hustle. And now Pokashevsky was saving it out of bounds. You see even more pressure from Kennard. Pokashevsky's got to be careful he doesn't get a carry. Kenrich off the dribble, pulls up, tough shot, still able to knock it down. So you got Kenrich, Jang, Mann, Baisley, Poku on the floor to open up this second quarter. Man crosses up. Outside Poku, he will launch from the outside. That one's going to rattle in. Got a lot of years under his belt. Now Jang, he wants a piece of the outside shooting. And an offensive rebound by Pokashevsky. Zubats came up to set that screen. Jackson didn't use it. Instead, out to the perimeter and another block from Baisley. This one is on Coffee. And not commit fouls, but he's been blocking everybody's shot. His Rolodex continues to grow. Under eight minutes, Pokashevsky. He'll let it go from the outside. He'll let it go from the outside. As the Thunder now missed six consecutive shots here in the second quarter. Powell on the baseline. We're going to get a hit check and a foul on Poku. As Dort trying to turn the corner. Poku will pull up for the mid-range shot. That one's going to drop in. Understanding how to get his teammates involved and also to know when to call his own number. Just good passing. Once again, the Thunder just catching the Clippers out of rhythm. Boy, back and forth we go. This third quarter has been solid. Pokashevsky, he's got an open look from three. Basically, able to tap it to himself. 61% from the field, 57% from downtown to retake the lead. Boku, series of ball fakes, missed the bunny inside, stays with it, and finally banks it in. 61% from the field, 57% from downtown to retake the lead. Boku, series of ball fakes, missed the bunny inside, stays with it, and finally banks it in. 61% from the field, 57% from downtown to retake the lead. Boku, series of ball fakes, missed the bunny inside, stays with it, and finally banks it in. 61% from the field, 57% from downtown to retake the lead. Boku, series of ball fakes, missed the bunny inside, stays with it, and finally banks it in. 61% from the field, 57% from downtown to retake the lead. Boku, series of ball fakes, missed the bunny inside, stays with it, and finally banks it in. So we are tied at 89. Henrich sees a crease on the baseline. Little inside, outside to Wiggins in the corner. His spot, and he's got himself another three. 15 seconds on the shot clock, not 14. See if they can capitalize. Backdoor cut attempt, and SGA it was off of his hand, and there goes the possession. Powell's been driving the entire second half, trying it again. Zubots on the offensive glass, but he got it wiped away from behind. Teams exchanging buckets here in the fourth. As we officially enter crunch time, Poku deep three drills it. This will be a foul on the other end. He puts the ball on the deck, has been tonight. Yeah, he's had a lot of hard drives to the basket. He's the Clippers' leading score. There's a the kick out. Poku catch fire three. And he's got himself another. PG being defended by Shea. That three way off. Kenrich. They'll get it out wide to Poku. Oh, and Poku kept it up high, but Brown came over to block it. With under a minute to go. And, and OKC's going to be able to enjoy this one, Mike, because they had to really earn it here in the second half. Ben came in and gave him a big lift. And they answered every run that the Clippers threw at him. Oh, my God.